know what um, everyone on the team's responsibilities are, um, you know, know what a product, a product owner is responsible um, for, know what um, the product, uh, what the project manager is going to do, uh, know what sponsors um, can and can't do. Um, Anand just cleared PMP like 10 minutes ago. Ali has cleared PMP with above target. Congratulations, Raheel, on clearing your PMP in first attempt to clear PMP exam with five above target. The best thing that anyone can do. Five <laughs> above target. Ladies and gentlemen, second student in three days. Five above target. I didn't accept it that I will get this result. I thought that I will be like target or like home target. Thanks to you. Without your dedication and gallants, it was uh, impossible for me. Yeah, yeah. It is clear to you. Above target, above target, above target, above target. Do I have to write some book? Do I have to write? No, no. Like, whenever he heard, like, this guy have read five times the book so many times. You always get confused and come back to me. I kept on saying him, you are going to clear, just read one time. And that's what he did. So, Koran just cleared PMP today. So, first of all, Koran, from, yes, PMI, yeah. from PMI community, from all over the 1 million PMP certified, I welcome you to this elite group. So, how are you feeling today? Thank you, thank you. I'm feeling good. I am feeling relaxed. I'm feeling as if I've um, I can look forward. I don't I don't have um, how would you say in the stand up the imp it's not an impediment. It's a necessary impediment. But I mean I can go out and eat tomorrow and and, and have a, a drink and not have to worry about hitting the books. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. You know because it, it it really absorbs your time. You know and so. Yeah, it, it is. It does. It but, does. Uh, so, Karan, why don't you tell us about something about your journey, how you started it, and everything? Well, um, I, ha I started in oil and gas. Um, I've been in oil and gas for about 10 years. And then um, about five years ago, I started my own company. And it was right around the whole time when the thing went down. And, um, you know, I was a. Uh, um, director of operations and I, you know, I was facilitating, I, it was a, as a project for me, right? Okay. Okay. Cause I had to earn X, X amount of dollars within a period of time. Exactly. And um, so from there, the business, you know, because the oil went down and just, and just died in the United States, it went through that big thing. And so I said, you know what, um, if, if I need to be able to translate these skills into something, I've had all this, you know, this experience, and um, so, you know, I went and um, looked into my uh, Six Sigma, Lean Six Sigma, um, you know, all the other project management um, certifications and, and things like that. And then I came across um, the PMP. And I said, this uh, is more akin to the things that I'm, um, the processes that I'm used to dealing with. Whereas, you know, um, the Lean and, and Six Sigma is more quality oriented type of, um, you find them a lot in manufacturing and things like that. And yeah. so from there, you know, um, that's where my journey started. Okay. And, um, you know, I wasn't successful. For, um, for I to stop you there before. My journey also started with Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was in the, in the beginning, it was difficult because, um, you know, to trend because I everything was voice of the customer. Yeah. You know, and then. At the, the language, I said, I can't do both of them at the same time because I can't um, embody one and just to, you know, to, to translate it over. Of course, you have elements in, um, you know, in, in P, in the, on the PMP, but uh, it's not as in depth. Uh, all the things, you know, um, the rule of seven is I, I knew it from from that time. OK. And so, uh, yeah. So that that's uh, that's how it, it got to the first phase of it. Okay. And then um, from there, the exam, you know, I, I took the exam. I wasn't successful on several occasions. I had so many things um, going on in my life at the time. I couldn't apply myself. Every time I would go and do it, something would occur to where I just couldn't apply myself. And so I just wasn't successful. But this time, everything, I, I put everything in order. And um, I, I had so much um, 
I had spent so much time already. I read the whole Pinbach. I have from front to back. Uh, this I started at the time when Pinbach five was uh, was out, right? You see, so I know, you know, I yeah, I started at the time when the five was out. So I know about the the transition to the new process. And so this is the third phase for me, where it's a new exam. Even you know, it's a new Pinbach and a new exam. And so. Um, you know, from all that gathered information, from reading the Pimbach, from, um, you know, um, attacking in so many different ways, I first have to say the first two times I didn't take any mock exams. So that was definitely a thing. And I took mock exams uh, this time. But um, as I was going through it, you know, I, I knew about Agile because that was in, um, you know, as they transferred to Pimbach 6, it was already in you know, before they changed the exam, it's been in the six. So I knew about Agile from that time. And then um, I said, I know this exam is going to be uh, more saturated with that type of material. So, I, you know, I went on YouTube and I started looking and then I come across Mr. Amir Ali. And I was like, oh, you know, and, and I was I just typed in Agile and it was like four minutes of Agile. And I have I have I, and because I have that background already where, OK, I read the Pinbach. I, um, I've um, taken the exam. I've um, studied, you know, I've read this book. I also have the, I also have Rita because of that. But because I had that, but when you came with the four minute um, overview, it was like, okay, all right, boom, boom. Oh, done, done. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it, that's what I needed to know. This came first, then you do that. And, um, you know, this, uh, this is where this is placed, you know, sprints or this. And I, I kind of had the jet, but when it, well, it all laid out, I got it because it was, you know, it was, but it was just perfect. And so, um, yeah, I went in and um, I was going to take it at the end of the month, but uh, I said, I'm, I'm ready to do, it. you know, I, I, I built up so much. I, there's so much stuff that I, I, I remember that from the Pinbach. I read the whole thing back. I mean, you know, there's stuff that if you ask me, like, like I wouldn't know it off top, but if a question came up with it specifically, I would probably know it because it's like it's well, in there. Of course. And so I just know. went and took you it, will know it, and um, I passed, and and the, <laughs> you know, and uh, I recall, I would recall it quickly, yeah. and um, so I went in and I took it, and as I was taking the exam, it, it's so much agile on the thing. It's so it's sprinkled, you know. They say um, it's a good uh, mixture. But it's a good bit of agile on there. You're like if, if you know, you, there's a bunch of it on there, and um, I'm glad I, I saturated myself. Or you know, I went over. Um, I, yeah, the one minute sprint video. That one was good. And I, I I turn it on when I'm riding my bike. I put the phone on my bike and I ride. I throw on a mirror. One minute. Boom. Okay. Run it back one more time. Boom. You know, one in the morning, one in the evening for about a week. And then you know, I have um Rita. I read over Rita and stuff like that. And I really only studied for this for about two weeks, right? Two or three weeks. But but this, keeping it. But this is in context. You already know the background, so it's not like a weeks. No, you know anything. But, yeah, yeah, um, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. So and I went and took it. You know, I, I went and I, I took it, and um, I knew I did well, and I knew I studied well. I had three above the marks, right? Wow. And um, in wow, all three, good. three above the marks. Uh. uh business uh, process, uh, I mean, uh, uh, envi environment, uh, people process, three above the marks. And I was, I wanted to be so sure, I went back and did, I did a review. You know, when, um, you know, you flag whatever you need to flag to review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how they have it um, um, phase or section before your breaks. And so um, I went back, I used that time and I, and I did too much time and I um, was behind. And this time I, I studied because I had 20 questions left, right? But I had about eight minutes, right? <laughs> so I said, eight minutes, 20 all right, questions, tough one. You know what I mean? 20 questions, eight, eight they, you know what I mean? So I said, all right, I know what this is. You can't leave them blank. So let's just do it. And so I did what I, you know, I could for the, um, you know, the, the duration and click, click, click. Okay, click, 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 next, click, next, click, next, click, next. Uh, finish the test. Congratulations, Karina. On your day. I was like, boom, that's how I study. <laughs> uh, if 20 of them, if I can guess 20 questions, 
I must have, you know, I'm a hundred and something of them had to be correct. So, but um, it was really a thing where I, I did the mock exam and I did a, um, and before that, this morning, I did a mock, I did a mock exam around um, 7.30 last which, night. Which mock exam you did? It was on Udemy. Um, a tw it's a 2021 PMP. Um, is, Udemy, it Tride, um, is it Tride Broy, Andy Ramadal? Uh, Yasin. Yasin is, I believe is his name. Yasin, I'll check it. I don't know. He's an IT. He's an IT. So and it's a really... It's a really good mock because he has, um, I did it over the course of a week because he has one section where it is, um, the process is one section for the people, one section for predictive, one section for agile, and they're all 50 questions each. And then from there, you have a mock exam, the full 180. And um, I took that and the questions are in depth. They, they're very intricate. I mean, every type of leadership, transactional, autocratic, he goes through all the stuff you, did, you, you didn't read, he read. Or, or he had somebody read and he put that in there. So it, it's kind of like walking into a room and getting punched from different angles. You have to get strong. You have to know it, you know? And so um, I took that mock exam around 7 um, p.m. yesterday evening. And um, I finished like 1230 this morning. And what I've been doing with everything, all the uh, mocks from that uh, module, from that um, um, from you to me, any incorrect answer I would get, I would um, take it and I would read over those once a day, all my incorrect answers once a day, you know, and the, what I did for the uh, mock exam, the full 180, I went to sleep. My, my test was at 8 a.m. So I got up at 430 and I read all I think I missed. Um, I scored like a 62 or something on the mock. Okay. And he has his his rubric as a 70 for passing. Right. And um. Uh, I went, I got up at 4.30 and I went through every single question. I just read it over and then I get to the exam and most of the stuff he asked wasn't, but I mean, I was so conditioned from every angle that I just got in and I was just like, oh, oh, do, 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 do. And I was kind of relaxed during the thing and I went back so and I checked I and that's when I realized. One thing, uh, yeah. Yasin, his name is basically for the for audience, his name is basically Yasin Tausani, and the name of the mock is 2021 PMP practice test. Uh, That's so, the one. Yes. so this this exam was near this question were near to exam. Um they are more complex than the exam. They are more complex they're, than the they're they're more complex. Okay. And the good thing about them is if you can score well on those, you're going to be prepared for the exam because okay. the questions that he has are, are uh, on the on his mock test and the modules that he has building up to the mock test, they're pretty they're somewhat basic for somebody who's you know um, familiar you know done this 35 hours and and skim through the pinbox. They're things you should know what um you know a deliverable is and and um you know an iteration it's just just smaller things but the mock is going to ask you things i mean it's really going to it's going to put you through your paces it's a very good mock exam and um it's it's much more complex than what you'll sit down okay. with and when you sit down with uh, what you said you'll feel a lot better it's like okay. you know um bench pressing 200 pounds uh, or 300 pounds knowing you're going to only do 50 so it was good <laughs> so uh, uh, important question have you done any other mock apart from this one um i did a free one i think it was on simply learn but it was, um, I stopped it half, I did a hundred questions from it because um, I, I realized it was like, it, it was from the old, it wasn't, it was from the old exam. It wasn't, you know, there but wasn't it was, any agile on it. Was a, it was a free mock, so actually- Yeah, you know. Gordon, we cannot actually compare with the, this thing because you haven't done multiple mocks that, which mock was more needed. Okay, that's that makes sense. Yeah. So- Yeah, I because guess, that, yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about exam now. So exam, you told mm -hmm. us more of agile. So how was agile basically? You watched that one minute sprint and do you basically suggest I should make more one minute videos or I should make longer videos? Um, 
the one minute videos, I like them because I already have that framework there. I know what you're talking about. You know, it's just um, to keep it in the front of your mind, you know, because it's like the, the, the breadth of information that you need to, you know, for, for the exam, you know, is uh, kind of, you know, is broad. So the things that are important in those one minute videos that are at the front of your mind, the things that you need to know, all right, um, the product backlog, you know, the, the, um, the, the vision to the product backlog, to the um to the sprint to the to the sprint plan to the review to the um to the uh retrospective and then you know uh refinement those are the things that you need to because those are going to be some of the things that are going to be quite uh prevalent you know when you sit down and so to have those at the front of your mind and that's what the one minute thing the, the one minute because the, the the detail that some i don't know past uh, past exams or some of uh, the previous mocks that I've taken, the depth of the questions that they ask are going to be so intricate. They're gonna ask you about, um, you know, uh, there's several ways to say, um, like for instance, hard logic, you know, hard logic can be, can be um, I forget what the other name for hard logic would be, but there's so many mocks where they're gonna use that other terminology than the one. And so, um, yeah, you're not going to see it, uh, from what from my experience, it, that's not happening um, currently. It's much more general, and so yeah, those one minute videos and um, I like they're they're good right where you have them. One minute, five minutes, that's it. You know, okay, one minute, five minute. Okay, let's talk about exam more. So, how many questions like were more towards values and principles of agile? They were questions. Um, values and principles of Agile. Um, no, there weren't many. There may be like, I mean, specifically regarding, you know, um, the, the 12, you know, um, and the four, there weren't, there were maybe, maybe two or three. They weren't any directed directly at, um, your knowledge of those things. You know, it was mostly in the application of, and, um, yeah, it wasn't a lot of that. Okay, okay. So this is good. So what about servant leadership methodologies? What do you think about uh, that? Uh, um, the, there's this quite, there's, it's more, um, I'm on the bike trail, there are children behind me, I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand, no issue, no issue. This makes it more um, natural. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're going to hear, they're going to ask you what, a, uh, or you're going to encounter more things where um what you would do under that um that you know that type of thing you know um that type of style you're not going to that that's that is going to elaborate on that it's not uh much variance from there okay 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 so anything else you would like to add that can help students like i know seven leadership is important communication is important agile practice guide is important anything that can help the students you already have given us a lot like that that mock i am going to recommend anything else that could help students um what would help um no what know what um everyone on the team's responsibilities are um you know know what a product a product owner is responsible um for know what um the product uh, what the project manager is going to do uh know what sponsors um can and can't do um no procurement no go over your procurement what about risk? Go over your risk, procurement, risk, um, servant leadership, um, and your roles. N know, um, you know, what's your program, your uh, your your program, and your and your portfolio uh, manager does. Your project manager does. Your uh, your product your product manager does. It's important to know um, each person's role in in the in in the, within the project realm, and um, know your organization you're going to see a lot of um, environmental um, things maybe show up. 
Okay. Thank you, Karan. Thank you very much. And uh, it, it has been a long journey from fifth, from book fifth edition and now seventh edition. Yeah. You know, uh, but you know, it, it, it was um, it, it was worth it because I mean, I, I guessed twenty questions and I got above the mark on on all three things, so yeah. it's in there. It's, so, it's worth it. You know, at the end of yeah. the day, if you are successful, it's worth it. Thank you, Karen, right. and I wish you best of luck for your future endeavors. And thank you. Bye bye. No problem. Thank you, Amir.